Hello, fellow survivors. I am your chief survivor, Orbital Potato, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Potato, what happened to those two episodes of progress uh, that you uh, that you just made? Well, firstly, I would say to that, well, one of those entire episodes was in 360p uh, because YouTube uh, mucked up the processing. And the second thing uh, that I would say to that is that I did indeed try to record a third episode, and it uh, the game had updated since the last time that I uh, that I played it. And, uh, and it crashed, and it crashed, and it, uh, it made me lose all of my progress, and I thought, you know what, I don't want to endure that, I don't even want to slightly endure that, so you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna start afresh, but you know what, we're, uh, we're starting with the benefit of, we're starting with the benefit of all of the experience that we have gained, that we have gained over the course of the last episode, and that means that we should be able to, we should be able to immediately start with a gate. I say immediately start with a gate. That's factually inaccurate because we need to get a scrapper up and running. Right, so same objectives as last time. However, this time we're going to get the gate right from the get-go. Uh, and we're going to try and plan the city a little bit differently. It's worth bearing in mind that this city has a slightly different layout. So we've got some fertile ground over here. Uh, we've got some more resources over here, and we're up against a, a massive sort of, a massive, I, I guess, watery, watery area over here. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's interesting. All right, so we're just going to get everything, everything set up in the, uh, in the original fashion. I did think, I did think about perhaps playing through, about playing through a bunch of... I did think think about playing through a bunch of a bunch of game in order to get back to a sort of point where I roughly was, but I thought it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to explain exactly what's going on if I just if I show you everything. I mean, the whole point the whole point of the Orbital Potato Channel is you know it's an access all areas pass, right? It's an access all areas pass. To, to to the video games that I'm playing and the commentary that I'm that I'm making, and uh, and I figured that this is the most this is the most this is the most transparent way of doing things. I would always I would always favor an approach like this. I think. Uh, now let's get water. Let's get water. We need to get some water wells up and running. Let's um. Let's put down a water well. Over there, work area efficiency. Uh, I mean, I want a high work area efficiency, ideally. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be too close to the... It doesn't have to be too close to the to the base. And this is going to give me 9 water production. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a... This has been updated. Okay. About 65... 65 is about as high as I can get... Okay. Let me do 66, 67. I mean, that's not bad. Sure. Give me... Give me that. Maybe. Unless we can find some sort of something a little bit better. I think that that's what we might have to settle for for now. 66% water efficiency. That looks, that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, so I think that this is one of the... One of the updates that has made its way into the game. What do we need in order to make that? Ah, also, I need to set up collection areas. Yeah. So, let's set up collection for concrete and wood. Uh, also, now the, the, the wood the woodwork area or the stockpile area looks slightly different. And I've got to say, I think it looks better. So, we'll get the scrapper up and running pretty much as soon as we possibly can. Great, set up the work area right over there. That'll give us more metal, and that's going to be great. Insufficient resources for the water well. What do I even need? We need more concrete, which I've already uh, resolved to collect appropriately. And we need to get... We need to get just a little bit more... A little bit more accommodation for all of our survivors. Okay, but we're going to try and get the gate as quickly as we possibly can so that we can unlock survive it's not survivalists specialists straight from the outset that's going to be pretty darn good let me get another emergency shelter over here yep get that down that's a low priority building and in fact pause the production of that building 
There we go. I would much rather get the water well up and running as quickly as we possibly can. Right, resume that. And then let's go and get the gate built. Yep, it's literally going to be as simple as that. I don't know how many resources we need in order to make the emergency shelter. Ten. Pause, pause construction of the emergency shelter. In fact, I would rather get the gate done. I would much rather get the gate done at this, at this specific moment in time. Also, we're going to need to get some food production set up. Let me go and see about that. Uh, fishing hut. Yep, we're going to get a fishing hut. And work area efficiency also applies for fishing huts. So the trick, I think, is going to be to try and get it as near to... Yeah, as near to this side of the gate as we possibly can. And maybe we can fit another one up here somewhere. And therefore get uh, get a second get a second fishing fishing hut in there. Also, we're gonna want to get a field as well. All of this stuff is gonna happen. It's gonna happen pretty pretty darn soon. Several construction zones are lacking resources. That's fine. I'm not I'm not particularly worried. Okay. And do that. Sure, we can we can take some planks. I wonder if the difficulty has been bumped a little bit. I mean my first attempt, my... I, I, I feel like if I say my first attempt, it's like I failed, even though that's not true. Um, I feel like on the, the first attempt, I feel like on the first attempt, the difficulty wasn't as high as it probably should have been. Also, I'm going to get another stockpile down over there so we can start collecting more and more resources. There we go. Move work area. Uh, I'd like to get some concrete, please. There we go. So let's set this storage area to, to dedicated, dedicatedly collect concrete. There we go. That should be absolutely plenty. We don't actually have any food at the moment, so that's a concern. Right. Resume production of that and, uh, and high on priority. Group of survivors arrived at the gate. Are they bringing any food with them? They're bringing protein with them. And they are also bringing a great Nordic adventurer who claims to be the Empress. Okay, this is this is fantastic. This is totally fantastic. I'll take you on board for now. Uh, and that gives us food. And also, most importantly, it gives us a, uh, a scout with which we can start exploring the big wide world. Also, they've introduced this thing where if you zoom out enough, it like, loop, it like sucks you up. And out of, uh, of, of Potato Topia. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It's freaky. It's real freaky. Okay. Also, we can resume that right over there. I know we have insufficient resources for everything. But that's okay. We're going to do just fine. The fishing hut is about to be finished, which is grand. Let's... You know what? Maybe I can avoid building a small field and instead we can just build a large field. A large field would save us a heck of a lot of time, effort, and energy. And would definitely be something that we're, we're going to want to do uh, as soon as possible. Okay, what resources do we need for this area? I think we're going to need to get ourselves a good old... A good old, a good old, a good old, a good old recycler. Yeah, alright, get that in there. And it's more boards that we need. That is that is pretty much what we're after. All right, we got six people who are droppers. I'm gonna reduce that down to down to five. Assign a second person to the fishing hut, and let's also assign somebody to make a fantastic, wonderful, long dirt road to this area. Sure, that's good enough. And the specialist is ready for action. Okay, just keep um, keep scouting because honestly, if we can get if we can get some science early on, then that would be a fantastic boon. As I've already said, getting a getting a large field straight off the bat would be would be fantastic. Okay, what do we need? We need five five fibers, and we're about to get that as soon as we get the recycler up and running. Happiness is not super high at the moment, but that is entirely down to the fact that we have a very, very large homeless population. Bugs. I, I honestly will submit a bug report for my earlier playthrough. By the way, if you're interested in checking it out, I've uploaded it just as an unlisted video uh, in the in the 
in the description. So click on that. If you're interested in watching 30 minutes of of Orbital just getting rather irritated near the end, because I feel like I feel like I had a good thing going, to be honest. I feel like I had a good thing going, but you know, let's not talk about let's not talk about what wasn't. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the future and how stoked I am. Because let's be real, I uh, I'm really liking this game. I really I really am liking this game, and uh, I'm I'm looking for an excuse to play it. Okay, you know what? I I spoke too soon. I need to get myself. I need to get myself something else. Small field. I think we need to get two small fields. Give me three small fields, in fact. Yeah, three small fields. I know, wandering merchant. I mean. Pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to. Yep, yeah, not gonna be able to trade you anything. Definitely some other time, my dude. But if you if you did bring any food, then that would be that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, small field. Let me get some potatoes. There we go. And then I'll grow potatoes and corn. I'll grow potatoes on one field and then corn on another. Perfect. Emergency shelter. Let's bump that in the priority list. There we go. Potatoes on that one. And corn on that one. Perfect. Okay, so that's just one one carrier colonist, colonist left. Uh, that's perhaps quite a large demand. Let's go and pick up all of this jerky, or as much jerky as we possibly can. A bunch of the stuff. And then let's head back to Potato Topia after that. Hopefully, we won't run out of uh, food in the interim. We've got two people on fishing hut duties. So that should keep us going for at least a little while. We're now ready to build the emergency shelter, which means that a whole bunch of people are actually going to be happy about their lot in life, which is exactly what I'm after. I want happy colonists. We're almost completely devoid of, uh, of protein. That's that's not ideal. Protein bars, that is. I mean, we still got loads of protein in the forms of colonists. Although, let's be real, we probably shouldn't turn to cannibalism. Also, I've got berries, which I'm uh, which I've not really been utilizing at all. So I probably should. And there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's go back in. Let's go back in, pick up the remaining five, and then we'll just come back. Sure. Perfect. Emergency shelter's done. Nobody is... Nobody is homeless now. Everyone has a home, which is great. Does say that we are going to have uh, a starving populace, but that's okay. It's not gonna happen. I have faith. Somebody is infected. Is that because you've been walking over these irritating nuclear waste piles? I think it is. I think... I think it is. Was there anything there? I don't think so. Give me, give me that right there. What do we even need? Uh, we should have all of the resources, actually, apart from a single, apart from a single bit of plastic. And in fact, we totally, we totally have it now. Great. All right. So we're going to solve that infection. As I say, we've started, we've started really, really fast. We've started really, really fast in this playthrough. And I think that that has... Definitely been for the better. Not to say that we had anything wrong with our approach last time. In fact, if I had the opportunity to uh, to take it slow again, then I would. Okay, so you should be kicking around here, right? Yeah, fantastic. And you brought back all the food. Great, great stuff. All right, so go out, continue to explore, and see what the situation is on our borders. We're still looking for science. As I've already highlighted, like, a gazillion times. But that keeps us good for food, at least for now. Berries have been uh, depleted. Let's move the work area over to there. Another nuclear waste pile. How's Grace doing? How infected is she? Um, I mean, pretty infected, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, pretty infected. Okay, let's uh, take you out of there, and you can begin treatment immediately, Grace. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Oh, you're a child. I didn't even realize that you weren't of working age. All right. Well, that's honestly, I'm not saying that I would, you know, leave you out to die. But uh, let's be let's be real. If um if you're not a if you're not a productive age adult, then um, you are technically yet less uh, less useful to the colony. Less useful to everyone, actually. All right, two people on on fishing production. Um, I'm gonna take one person off fishing production. I don't think that that's really needed. Colonists want to talk about a landfill. Sure. Give permission. One colonist infected. Plus nine. Plus nine metal. Archie is infected. Well, it's a pretty darn good thing that we've still got someone equipped to deal with hmm? equipped to deal with medical issues in the medical tent. So I don't know where Archie's gone, but I hope he's getting treatment. He is indeed getting treatment. Fantastic. All right. Excuse me if I just sort of blast through this. I, uh, I, I mean, we're not far off getting to a place where we're quite comfortable. But I just want to make sure that we can get there as quickly as possible and become as sustainable as possible uh, pretty darn soon. Put that on pause for now because we don't actually have enough colonists to man another field. But we will soon, I hope. Science! Finally! How much science? 300 science? Oh boy, that is just the greatest news that I've had all day. Alright, that's fantastic. So now we wait until we have a few more colonists arrive at the gate. And that should... Uh, that should help, actually, because we will we will need it. We will definitely, definitely, definitely need it. Another berry deposit has been depleted. We've got one more berry deposit to draw down on before we need to move move stuff around a little bit. Is that over there? Grand. We're still drawing down on the large concrete ruin. That's cool. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to set up a brand new water well. Too close to another building of the same type. That's a bit of a bummer. Let me have a look. I would like 10 water, please. 10 water from... 10 water from this water well would be phenomenal. Ah, I saw 10 there. Great. Get another water, uh, water well planned. Let's get you to go and extract some science from that old school or that old library. Museum even? I'd, I was close. Very close. Third time's a charm. You know what they say. Uh, okay, and then let's let's see what we want to take into. Communal eating? Honestly, honestly, energy production is not something that I'm interested in. Communal living is not something I'm interested in. Communal eating, I should have highlighted, is not something that I'm in interested in initially. I want advanced farming, so maybe I do get communal eating. I think that that's what I'm going to do. Because I do want advanced farming. Advanced farming is going to be such a, such a time saver. Because you basically get all of this. All of this field size. Oh, fantastic. All of this field size uh, operated by one person. Which is absolutely plenty. One adult, one child. And they're bringing with them a heck of a lot of tools. Well, I say a heck of a lot of tools. One tool each. Uh, but more importantly, they're bringing with them a gazillion food. And that's not even an exaggeration. Okay, resume construction of that small field. Re-equip someone onto the recycler to continue our plastic domination. And keep fishing. Always keep fishing. That's my motto. And our water reserves are low, but it's a blooming good thing that I'm in the process of building a water well, isn't it? We should probably prepare for a catastrophe. And by prepare for a catastrophe, I mean we should probably set up a water tower to... You know what? Let's get two water towers. Get two water towers so that we can... So that we can build up our supply. And let's also get you to go into that museum again and get another bunch of science. And then... Oh, joy upon joys. Joy upon joys. That means that we should be able to get our... Our brand new type of field. Okay, finally. So with that, we're pretty much back to we're pretty much back to where we were before before the before the bug apocalypse. Okay. Select next none. Select next none. 
demolish, yep, select next, none. So it's literally that simple. We're going to wait until all of this despawns, and then we're going to get a, a massive field right in here. So that'll still give us one harvest cycle of, uh, of crops. And that will be grand. That will be absolutely grand. We need to stay on top of moving the, the work area for, for wood. Alright, do that. Nice. And that's another water tower as well, so that's going to mean that we have plenty, plenty, plenty of backup water storage, which, uh, which should be completely adequate. Grand. And then we'll complete, we'll complete, we'll complete our science explorations over at the museum and head out to find immediately subsequent to that another museum for 345 science. That is just about the best news that could possibly happen. That is straight up fantastic. Right, unequip a dude from the medical tent as that doesn't actually do anything whilst uh, whilst there's no one that's sick. Cool. Uh, what can we get built? I mean, we can get a cookhouse built. We will need to get a cookhouse. I do want to build a trapper. I probably want to try and establish some form of road up this way. Sure, get that built for now. And then... Build a trapper. Oh, interesting. I, I see, I see, I see. So, it looks like it works much more efficiently when it's placed near... When it's placed near trees. So, why don't I just try and place it down right over here? Sure, do that. That's grand. Yes, that's right. That is fantastic. That is, I mean, that is, that is, that is really, I feel like that's, I mean, it's, it's too coincidental not to be, not to be planned. I imagine that this game probably has sort of a, an overworld generation setup where, you know, where you're guaranteed to find at least two things of science reasonably near. But maybe, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so you should be producing producing meat for us with I don't know I don't know from where you don't you don't seem to kill these these wild boar you just seem to scrape down a little bit of a little bit of hide not sure how that works but whatever I guess cultivating that can be set up for demolition doesn't actually need to be cultivated we wait before placing down a big large field speaking of what we can do we can get some more some more tech uh, shanty, tenement, security, or exploration. I feel like I didn't really use the trade center uh, at all in the first couple of episodes. So let's get that unlocked and then we can find out how it works. Okay, go salvage the other 145 science. There's no hazards to be uh, to be found in those museums. It's not like Night at the Museum where there are actually, you know, significant hazards. Significant workplace workplace issues right there. I am going to get these resources set up in just a second, but we need we need more employees. I mean, we need more survivors. A trade center. Attracts bigger trade convoys to arrive at your gate. Buying resources in large quantities can be much more profitable than producing everything inside the colony. Yes! I, I couldn't agree more, and in fact, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one right over. I'm going to get one right over here. That's not what I meant to build at all. That's what I meant to build. Fantastic. All right, get that down. I don't know if uh, the Trade Center requires somebody to work inside. I guess we'll see. All right, meteorites cause damage to building. Uh, reserve enough construction materials for repair. Have carriers at hand to do the repairs. Build better shelters to keep your colonists safe. Right. I don't suppose I can unlock shelters of any... Of anything, really? I, I, I don't think so. Main system department, reinforced gate, general storage. General storage, I think I will get, because that should theoretically mean I'm able to withstand any of the nonsense that comes from the skies, right? That's the hope, anyway. Okay. 
Stick that down over there. Let's get these, uh, let's get these fields harvested as well. Let's get them harvested as quickly as we possibly can. Some colonist has gone and become infected. Hate when that happens. Don't infect anyone else, though. You're with a child. Don't infect a child. Uh -huh. You're having fun. Having fun infecting a child with radiation poisoning. Right. That sounds like a fantastic pastime. Truly phenomenal. Right, well, the Trade Center is just about ready. It's now ready. I don't know what it does. I suspect we'll just get larger trade convoys. I suspect, anyway. And you just need to keep on exploring, see if you can find any more... any more science nonsense. Insufficient materials for the general store. Uh, concrete. Is concrete a problem? Did we deplete the large concrete ruin? I did not think that that would happen. Oh, I really do hate that when you zoom out too much, you now, you now go onto the world map. That's really irritating. Okay. Go do that. Okay. Go there, and that will... That will allow us to get just that little bit more concrete. In fact, you know, what am I doing? Rather than going all that way, we need to use the supplies that are closer to us. Yeah, because we need to get we need to get this shipping container up and running as quickly as we possibly can. And so we can use these concrete uh, concrete ruins that we've got over here. Yeah, grand. All right, well, it looks like the small fields are just about to be completely harvested. Hopefully, hopefully... Hopefully, 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 our food supply stays safe throughout this meteor shower. That's what I'd be hoping for, anyway. Alright. Any science? Another museum. Not quite. But that is a diner. Which is... Pretty unexciting, really, because we're totally fine for food. In fact, we are... The finest that we can possibly be for food. How much, how much concrete have we got? Not a heck of a lot, to be honest. Not a heck of a lot. Alright, move the work area. And move that over there. Yeah, we need to focus our, focus our efforts on concrete. Small group at the gates. Welcome, welcome the group in and alert the medic. The group is frankly surprised by your offer. Thank you, the injured are advised to seek the medic immediately. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we get four food, three tools, and four colonists. Well, that's just great. Let's, um, let's get someone else equipped to the... Mm -hmm. Equipped to the medic bay. Low on tools. Yeah, I know. Let's get that small field demolished, and that small field demolished as well. Hopefully, we can get everyone fully treated before the... Meteors start coming. And I know we are low on tools and we're also low on uh, clothes. But that's okay. Right, we're still on the hunt for science. And apparently you're not going to be able to hunt for science uh, for another turn. That's fine. That's totally fine. Alright, well we just need to wait until the meteor strikes uh, hit us. And hope that whatever happens, it's not large enough to to be a problem. Unfortunately, we've not managed to get the general store up and running in time. Or at least that's what it looks like anyway. It is gonna be it is gonna be built, but I don't think that it's gonna be in time for the meteor shower. Meteor shower is due to start any moment now. Any moment. High priority. That's not going to change anything, I don't think. Yep. All right. Meteor shower is starting to is starting to occur. Okay. General store is done. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Edit allowed resources. Yes. All of the allowed resources. Let's get them all in there, if at all possible. Okay. Let's not ignore the specialist working out in 
the real world. Okay, so, so far, a little bit of science, not too much. I say a little bit of science. Quite, quite a lot of science early on. Buildings are going to take some serious hits. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a bit of a yikes, unfortunately. Pile of boxes is critically damaged. That's actually okay. If that's it, then I can deal with that. That's a trade center. Trade center's got tons and tons of HP. The pile of boxes only contains 300 water, which is a bummer that it that it goes. But that's okay. Uh, in fact, maybe don't repair that. Actually, yeah, no, do repair that. All right, that's cool. I don't know if the, the path can be damaged, but so far, these meteors have been pretty disappointing. Pretty underwhelming. And, you know, honestly, we can probably think about getting another emergency shelter for our other colonists whilst this meteor shower is, is ongoing. Sure. You know, give them something to do whilst the apocalypse is raining down from uh, the heavens above. And stick it in three times. Alright, pile of boxes was destroyed. Ah, who cares? Repair that. Sure. Yeah, you know, they say that lightning never strikes the same place twice, but it looks like meteors hit this area three or four times. Water well did take a hit. Let's get that repaired. And that's it. That is, that is, that is, that is it. All right, let's see what the group of survivors are saying. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. You are going to bring me a new, a new, uh, a new specialist who is also another scavenger. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, people need homes. That's a bit of a bummer. And also, we have an injured person. Also, we've now, since the apocalypse has, has happened, we have the opportunity to stick down a field. There we go. Let's get a very, very large field and maybe even another large field if we can afford it. Afford it, I mean, afford the space for it. Hmm. It's close, but... We'll be able to get one over there. Cool. Alright, so you're another scavenger. You can go... You can go scavenge up north. And you can continue to scavenge down south. Sure. No sign of any more science. That's fine. We can deal with that later. We have 12 colonists that are free now, by the way. That is quite ludicrous. That is quite ludicrous. How many homeless? Enough enough for me to at least be a little bit irritated. Okay, let's equip another person to the recycler so that we can try and get rid of this pile of plastic soon. Uh, simultaneously, what we'll do is we'll build the dirt road out here to the edge of the fertile ground. And we'll plop down another emergency shelter right over there. Grand. Also, at the same time, we're going to get, uh, it's not here, not there, we're going to get a sawmill. The sawmill will seek to chop down a bunch of trees. And we want to get the trees chopped down over here. And then we're also going to get a forester right next door. Grant. Uh, also going to get a logging camp. I don't want to. I don't want to put the logging camp in. In an area of high value ground. I'll probably end up putting the logging camp right over here. So we should use this pile of metal scrap first and foremost. So let's equip another person to the scrapper. And there we go. That should that should at least help. So this number of active carriers should reduce all the way down to I don't know like four, four maybe would be would be an appropriate number number that I'm happy with. Because we don't want, we don't want too many, but at the same time we want enough. Okay, so you're working on concrete at the moment. That's fine. We need to get rid of some of this nuclear waste. I'm acutely aware that that is something that needs to occur. All right, no more tech that we can research at the moment. We need some more bits for this. We need some more. 
we need some more wood. Wood is what is required. There we go. And specialists are ready to move. As I say, we are on the hunt for science. So I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother to stop for a lumber mill. I mean we can worry about collecting resources later. Yeah, for sure. And also we need more tools. Oh yes, I forgot to I forgot to plant down a tool shop. And a a tool shop and a a tailor. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Two constructions finished. Wonderful. Let's get corn on one and potatoes on the other. And we've now got two full-time farmers. Full-time farmers on very very large fields. Now, the disadvantage to having super, super large fields is that, I mean, we we need fewer fields to fail in order, in order to, in order to have bad stuff happen. Let me just move the work area of this a little bit, move it to that area. Sure. Yeah, we need fewer fields to fail in order for us to get into a, a serious problem, but at the same time, they produce a heck of a lot more stuff, which is what I like. Right, wonderful. Okay, everything everything looks fine. All of the resources we could possibly want are going to be stored in the general store. Can I just set everything not to be allowed? And that will itself mean that everything needs to be moved into the into the general store. Is that what's going to happen? Build an additional stockpile. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. I can't, I can't hold the basic resources. I, I, I can't. Yeah. So, so wood and planks, and all of those four basic resources need to be held in stockpiles. But I think everything else can be held, can be held elsewhere. Maybe also fiber. Maybe fiber and maybe... Refinable material? I think, I think that that's probably fine. Right, colonist request. Someone wants to go outside the gate. Let the party go hunt. Fantastic. Great. That is just the greatest news that I've had all day. 20 free food for absolutely nothing. It's a pretty darn good deal to me. All right, that is that is some components I do believe, and that is is not bad. Yeah, I can see you're fine. Just keep on exploring, would you? Okay, big old lake or big old river or something, something over here, some big watery body. Okay, what else? I mean, scrap. No, we can store scrap in there. I mean, I think... I think everything else... We can store in general storage. At least I hope, anyway. Yeah, when are we... When are we done with the emergency shelter? It should be... It should be soon. Yeah, it should be very soon, in fact. We're planting with the large fields. Tool shop is almost done. The tailor is almost done. Low on clothes, make a tailor, etc, etc, etc. I'm... I'm about to do that. Literally about to do that. Fantastic. And... You're done. Great, so now we're down to five. This forester is gonna mean four... four carriers. That, uh, that big old plastic mount has finally been... deleted. We'll start using that plastic mount now. Fantastic. We've still got a couple of a couple of buildings which are doubled up for production at the moment, but Okay, go there and have a look. See what's going on. That's some medicine. Fine. And let's see what's going on over here. That's more medicine. 
All right, I'm interested to a degree. Yeah, it says build an additional stockpile, but I would love to know what have I not allowed to be stored in here? Refinable material? Is that is that it? Does that sort does that sort everything out? I think it I think it might. All right, and then the forester is now done. That's fantastic. Somebody has become injured. Get to the get to the medical tent pronto. We're down to four. We're down to four carriers. That's just that's just grand. All right, let's uh, let's increase the size of the planting area, and put that over there. Same with the sawmill. Let's let's resize that. Put that in over there. Perfect. So that that area is is now much larger, and that should be exactly what is required. Uh, we're going to make tools. We're going to make a heck of a lot of tools. We're going to make a heck of a lot of, uh, of, of clothes as well, which is lovely. I could scavenge some tools, and I could scavenge some clothes, but I don't think that there are any... Yeah, there are no safe clothes near me. There are some safe tools, but no safe clothes. Right. What was out here? Uh, fiber. Not super necessary. In fact, we don't have a lot of stuff that's super necessary at the moment. We're, we're getting by just fine. I feel that my trade center has been a little bit... A little bit useless. A little bit useless. But that's fine. Uh, let's take one person off the recycler there. One person off the scrapper. And let's put a second person into the tool shop and a second person into the tailor. Just to sort of rebalance all of the resources that we've got. I feel, uh, I feel that's probably fine. Yeah, alright. This is, this is good. This is good. So this, this general storage is being used as the main storage for absolutely everything. Apart from the most basic of basic resources. Yeah. Alright, I tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take... Scrap has already been disallowed for this for this storage pile. So why is so much of it being stored here? I don't know. That's irritating actually because we will we will have need for that in the mechanics shop soon. As soon as we find just that little bit more science. There we go. All right, no museums, no nothing. Why is science so hard to come by? I guess that's part of the part of the problem, right? Also, do we have anyone that's homeless? I don't think we do. I think we should have... Yeah, one one bed free. Fantastic. Mason is now an adult. Grand, congratulations, Mason. Welcome to the welcome to the big wide world. You'll find that, uh, that not much has changed. Other than uh, you now have to work. And you don't get paid for it. A van approaches. Check what's up. Right, Dan the mystery van. I would love to I would love to find out exactly what's going on here but unfortunately I can't uh, Dan the mystery van has uh, I mean he has screwed me before he has absolutely screwed me before and it uh, it was a bit rough actually it was a bit rough I didn't I didn't like Dan much after that but you know we've we've buried the hatchet me and Dan we've uh, we've gotten over it Right, I am still low on tools. We've got a couple of people that are floating around without uh, without proper tools and without proper clothing. But that's okay, because that's all going to be resolved in uh, in time. You know, in the fullness, in the fullness of time. Okay. Keep on scouting. Is there a specific biome which science is most likely to occur? Not really sure. I could do with another specialist, though. And maybe a specialist which was more inclined towards fighting stuff. Most probably bandits. In fact, almost certainly all bandits. Yeah, I know I'm low on clothes. Although I think that's... Is that everyone got a proper tool? 
I think that that's everyone. No, apart from this guy, hmm? Mason, who's who's literally just become an adult. Right. So everyone's got a proper tool except Mason. But that should be resolved reasonably quickly. Perfect. All right, Mason has got a has got a tool waiting for him if he just goes and picks it up, which he's just done. Fantastic. And then what is it? Two or three more people, two or three more people to have uh, to have brand new jackets. And then and then that's everyone. That's everyone sorted. That is that is just delightful. Okay, you know what? Push push over here. See what the status is. Nope, no research. No research. What else? What else? Any anything? Medicines in the desert. I mean, I, I'm sure we could find some research in the desert. I don't know what that would come in the form of, but I'm sure we could. Sawmill is hard at work. Forester is is doing good stuff. To be honest, I actually think that we might want to put down another forester. So we sort of try and double the regenerative capacity of this area. Just a thought. It would certainly be quite nice to do. How are we doing for food? Honestly, not great, but our fields are about to come good for us. So, I mean, that's... I mean, I, I was... I mean, that is important, obviously, but it's it's vital, really. Okay, there's two metal scrap ready to be dug out of that uh, of that big metal pile. Then we can move the metal pile down to this area and get rid of this metal pile, which is quite nice. Because it's, it's a bit of an eyesore. It's a bit of an eyesore. I'm sick and tired of looking at metal piles. Right, that's tools. All right, fine. Yeah, go and have a look what's going on over here. That's the bottom of the map, I suspect. That is components from an old radio station. I mean, I probably will pick those up purely because if this is the bottom of the map and that's, you know, the other end of the world, I don't really want to, you know, send uh, send a scavenger on a, on a mission to the bottom of the world again. You know, one, one time to the edge of the world is, is enough. There we go. That's looking good. What else have we got to do? I mean, not much. What we do have to do, what we do have to do is we do have to get a cookhouse set up. Yeah, we do have to get a cookhouse set up. Let's get that set up over here. Get a cookhouse set up over there. And we've already got... I was a way to say, have we got a logging camp? I don't think we do have a logging camp or whatever... Whatever it's actually called. It is called a logging camp. Wow. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah, because I was going to set a logging camp up. Another meteor shower? Really? Okay, video game. Okay. And now we've got two days before, uh, before a meteor shower? All right, that's... That's a bit of a tough gig, isn't it? All right, move over here. Have a little look-see. What's going on over over in that zone? And then we can progress down and pick up the, the radio station components. That'll be nice. Big business. Aha! This is the this is the van that uh, that we maybe get as a result of building the trade center. Um well that's unbelievably irritating because we're about to have a massive haul of both potatoes and corn and we can't take advantage of either of them and I would love to take advantage of uh, of both of them. No deal I'm afraid. Sorry about that. That's 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 on me honestly. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. Insufficient materials for the logging camp. What do we actually need? We need a little bit of concrete. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, more concrete. Sure. Set up a long, a long distance concrete mining operation. I don't know if it's a mining operation per se, but it's a concrete, a concrete finding mission. Hmm? All right. Logging camp is almost done. That's perfect. Cookhouse. Um, what I want to do is I want to select a mixed meal. 
yeah, because we have meats and we also have veggie tables. So we might as well take the opportunity to get uh, to get the best of the best. I'm also going to stick another person into the into the trapper. So that should help us stay on top of our food production. There we go. You know, just pick up the tools and then head right on over. See what else is going on at the other side. There we go. You can do the exact the same. And that should just give us a few extra resources. You know, something to tide us over for the, the short to medium term. Logging camp, grand. We've got a general storage area, which apparently has a much larger capacity than the stockpile. Yeah, it looks like it it looks like it has a much larger capacity than the stockpile anyway. Maybe that's maybe that's just me. Uh, but the point is, is that all of our important resources are being stored over over in the general storage, which is just grand. I'm very, very happy about that. I mean, we do have a couple of basic resources which are which are just being stored in the stockpile, but I mean that can all be that can all be dealt with. Uh, we could we could decide to just cut our losses and harvest all of the potatoes and all of the bits of corn, and in fact we might well decide to do that because of the because of the meteor shower. Okay, that's food. Go and see what's going on over here. Oh, really? Firewoods? Alright. Maybe I'll pick up the firewood as well. Alright, group of survivors has arrived at the gate. I mean, I will absolutely take people on. That is a scientist right there. That is... That is great. That is really, really, really great. Okay, so that's a... That's, that's a fantastic scientist. Um, and will give us a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of modifiers for uh, for science-related missions. I'm gonna need to get a. I'm gonna need to get another house set up quickly. I mean, you are really good at science. I get it, but we need to find some science first. So head out and see if you can find anything, eh? Yeah, that would be that would be super helpful. Okay, I mean we are harvesting we're harvesting the corn here, which is which is nice, but we're gonna need to we're gonna need to harvest these potatoes, I think. Yeah, harvest the potatoes. Get the potatoes harvested right now. I mean cut our losses. Let's just get that food inside. And also, oh my goodness, I've just realized we need to get some more some more water production. And we need to do that pretty Pretty darn quickly. 11 water, 13 water, 14 water. 12 water. 13. Can we hit 14 water? Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen water. Fifteen water is just about as good as it gets, isn't it? Right, let's bump that up to a high priority building because it absolutely is. Because we're losing a bunch of water at the moment, and I would rather avoid having a drought at the same time as having a uh, a meteor shower rain down upon us. That's just personal policy, though. Nope, no science yet. Excuse me. I can see you're busy, but you're not. Why is that not working? Uh oh, I can't seem to move you. Hmm. All right, I'm sure that that's not a bug and is just an issue that we're having at the moment. I'm sure that's going to resolve itself. Okay, are we harvested? Can we harvest quicker, please? There we go. Get three people harvesting. I need to get this. I need to get this done. Okay. You are completely bugged. 
Right. Oh, that's... That's just the greatest. That's so great. Are all of my dudes bugged? It certainly doesn't look like any of them can move. Oh, please don't do this to me, video game. Alright, let's keep an eye on exactly what's going on. Okay, set that up for immediate repair. Just get it sorted. Right, unfortunately, we could still lose our crops. If we lose our crops, that's going to be a big bummer. Alright, get that repaired. Yeah, repair, repair, repair. Don't hit the fields and we're all good. Any... Any more progress on the water? Not really. Specialists are ready for action. Well, proof is in the pudding, eh? No, that's that's great. That's real good. That's that's great. Alright, you know what? Let's fast forward through this meteor shower. Let's let's let it rain down upon us. There we go. Fantastic. Strange noise is coming from the gate. A unique item. Uh yes. I will absolutely take an opportunity to take uh, to take a bunch of science. Let's now try to move our, our specialist. No, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save. Sure, save, save that. I'm going to exit to the main menu. Exit to the main menu, and then let's load back in to see if this actually... To see if this actually works. Fingers crossed there is something that is... Reset... And we get an opportunity to, to explore again. If not, um, if not, then we're we're in trouble. We're in real, real trouble because there is no way for us to be successful if we don't get science. And the only way for us to get science, other than random encounters uh, like uh, like the one that you just witnessed, is to scavenge. Oh, thank goodness, it worked. Thank. Sweet baby Jesus. Alright. We're saved. We live to fight another day. There we go. Just move past... <laughs> move past that, that radio station there. I think the problem is that we came to rest right on top of the radio station. And then I tried to click the radio station to go into... Into it. Uh, maybe there. Sure. Okay, continue. Game is saved. Game is loaded. Let's get everything repaired as quickly as we possibly can, please. Although I would say that there is not really any particular rush. More of a rush to get this water well up and running. As soon as possible. Yep. And we're fine for clothing. We've got a bunch of science points. Let's spend some of this science. Make myself feel, uh, feel a little bit happier. Hazmat engineering. We need energy in order to make that work. So, I mean, that's pretty much a write-off. We don't actually have any... We don't have anything that we can do until... I mean, I guess we could get energy production one and try and build a wind turbine or a solar panel. Sure. Let's do that. Let's, let's see what the requirements are for a wind turbine and or a solar panel. Okay, so... Hold up. Wind turbine is eight components and eight parts and then two other basic resources which we can easily get then a solar panel is four components and two cloth wind turbine produces way more energy and i just i do happen to know that the solar panel isn't in itself enough to produce enough energy for any one building i don't think i think the wind most buildings draw about 12 energy Although, in saying that, solar panels definitely would seem like a more efficient use of... Yeah, would, would, would seem better, although they only work during the day. Okay, well, well what's, what's for certain is that we're going to have to get... 
We're going to have to get you to come back. And we're going to want to try and get some some parts. We're going to try and bring back some, well, sorry, components with you. Okay, I mean, that's that's fine. I think that that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We do still have another 100... We do still have another 100 science to use, which is quite nice. Uh, Login camp, move a work area. Yep. Move the work area just to, like, here. I guess that ginormous area. That is a word. Don't at me. What the f flip is this? That doesn't look like a pile of boxes. That looks like a alien spawn of death and destruction. But apparently that's all we needed to do to clean it up. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, come back here. Get me some more components. There we go. And then let's get you to come all the way back. You can go and see what's going on over here. Nothing of interest. You can go and see what's going on down here. Science, 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 science. Not quite. That's disappointing. Uh, well, you know, we live to be disappointed another day. Our severe lack of science is uh, is irritating. Irritating in the extreme, I must say. Also, the good news is is that uh, all of that advanced, all of that advanced next level harvesting, definitely worked out to our favor. Um, we managed to save all of all of the crops. It was a true success. It was a true success. It really, really was. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think that I can really justify keeping six people on the fields. As much as it is quite nice, I think there are probably, probably areas where we, where we need them more. Really. Yeah, certainly we should at least take one person off each field. Uh, we've already got, uh, someone in the, someone in the, someone in the clinic, someone in the health tent, if you'd like. Science. Is that insects? Crumbling houses, cockroaches. Lovely. Delicious. Nutritious. Cockroaches. Right, still no sign of science. Is science just a, an impossibility at this point? Okay, I mean, I would love to tell you to come all the way back up here. But it is going to take quite a significant period of time. Maybe we just have you sort of explore this area rather than coming back up right now. I know it is going to sort of delay our wind turbines, but I mean, it's not like we can really do anything with our wind turbines anyway. I mean, we need to get junk recycling to get a mechanic shop to produce parts. And that will require energy, so we will need we will need another 20 science before we can unlock sort of the next level. And that's that's all we really need energy for at this stage, I believe. I think anyway. This is looking good. General storage is looking fine as anything. Uh, fishing hut is looking fine. Small concrete being depleted. That's not a problem. I mean, we are doing absolutely grand on on every single front. We really are. Um, sure. Go collect some more food. Collect some berries. Something for some people to do. Huh? Yeah, can you, can, can the person with radiation sickness please report to the, to the health tent? Uh-huh. It's, it's kind of essential. It's kind of necessary. Come on. You're just not, you're just ignoring, you're ignoring your symptoms. I get it, it's tough being infected with radiation, but it would be super help, it would be super helpful if you decided to go, uh, to go in there. Have we got actually, have we got more, more people that need treatment? I think we do, I think that was the problem. All right, so we had more people that needed treatment than we had capacity to treat. I'm with you. I'm with you now, video game. All right, go over there, see what's going on. See what's going on over here. Nothing. None of this, none of this science nonsense. We have a dedicated science professor. 
or I don't know whatever you have in a post-apocalyptic situation. I don't know if you have professors anymore. I I I, I suspect probably not. But uh, oh my goodness, that is that is a huge nuclear waste pile. Right, three deposits depleted. Loads and loads of uh, berries are being picked at the moment. I just thought it would be something to do whilst we're whilst we're waiting for all of our specialists to to recharge and you know fully energize. Uh oh, serious mutations. What the heck is that? Severe issues which take a long time to heal. Cure the colonists at a medical facility. I do actually have medicine. I do. Addison, you're not one of the people that are equipped to work in the medical tent, are you? No. Oh my goodness. Are you... That doesn't look like a severe mutation. That looks like... That looks like you're... It looks like you've grown sort of a hive mind out of your... Out of your... Out of your head, really. Okay. Go have a look at this. Wonderful. Some more parts. I guess. I guess we could. We could do that. Yep. Any science? Why? Why is it so far impossible to find science? I just don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. It looks like the serious mutations maybe take a little bit longer to uh, to heal, but other than that. Pretty pretty doable to be honest. Yeah, general storage definitely has way more way more storage capacity than um, than stockpiles. So I guess that's that's good to note. That is good to note. That's important. All right. I mean, look, everything everything seems to be going pretty darn well. I don't think that there is anything to complain about at all. Uh, we've spread out. We've spread out the sort of basics of the city. Which is nice, and I think it gives us a lot more a lot more room to play around with. I definitely think that we'll be able to get another field down here, even if we want to get a medium field over here. Uh, the options the options are there. So I think what we're going to do, ladies and gents, is we're gonna we're gonna finish this episode up right about now. And uh, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much to my fantastic patrons over at patreon.com forward slash over to potato. Uh, it's people like that to make videos like this possible, and it is greatly appreciated, all of, uh, all of the support. Thanks for watching, folks. Tune in to the next episode of Surviving the Aftermath. I'll see you next time. Bye.